This is part 158 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss binding menu control to web.sitemap file using sitemap data source control. This is continuation to part 157, so please watch part 157 from the ASP.NET tutorial before proceeding with this video. In part 155, we discussed binding menu control to an XML file using XML data source control. It's also possible to bind menu control to web.sitemap file. We discussed sitemap files in our previous session. In fact, if you recollect from the previous video session, we added this web.sitemap file to the project that we have been working with. So here is that web.sitemap file that we added in the previous session. And we discussed this XML in detail in the previous session. So that's the first step. And the second step is to drag and drop sitemap data source control. So this control is capable of reading data automatically from web.sitemap file. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's actually drag and drop a sitemap data source control. Let's actually drag and drop that next to the menu control. And the sitemap data source control is present under data tab within a toolbox. So notice the name of the control. It is sitemap data source, which is going to read data automatically from web.sitemap file. We don't have to specify any other attributes. That's going to happen automatically if there is a web.sitemap file within your project. All right, so the final step is to associate this menu control with the sitemap data source control. But if you look at this menu control at the moment, this is actually getting its data from database. Okay, and we have written that ADO.NET code within the code behind file of this master page. So let's comment this private method get menu items. And we are calling that method within the page load event. So let's go ahead and comment this line as well. So we have removed that hook now. Now let's configure this menu control to actually use this data source control. And to do that, we're going to use this data source ID attribute. And that should be equal to the ID of sitemap data source control. So this is very straightforward here. We have this sitemap file. You know, this sitemap data source control is going to read data from that file automatically. And then we have set the data source for this menu as the sitemap data source control. So this menu now is going to get its data from web.sitemap file. So let's actually run this and see if it works as expected. OK, so we are getting something here. Look at that. We have dummy root here. So where is this dummy root coming from? If you look at our sitemap file, that's what is the root node here. And that's what is being displayed you know, as the root element within the menu. And then underneath that, we have got home, employee, employer. And underneath them, we have respective links. But then within our application, we, there's no reason why um, we are displaying this dummy root. We want to hide that. So how we are going to achieve that? Simply set this attribute on sitemap data source control. So what's the attribute? Show starting node. Set that to false. So let's flip to Visual Studio within master page. We have the sitemap data source control. Show starting node equals false. So basically, we are telling don't show the starting node. It's as simple as that. Let's run this and see if that is going to work as expected. Look at that. It works now as expected. All right. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.